Allah has not placed on you a burden greater than you can bear. So if you are facing some sort of hardship, remember, if this is coming from Allah, then surely Allah has given me the strength to cope with it. What is my expectation here? To say, Inna lillahi wa inna ilayhi rajiun. If you've lost something, if you are missing something, something is taken away from you, what is your expectation? Inna lillahi wa inna ilayhi rajiun. Allahumma. Oh Allah, inna lillahi wa inna ilayhi rajiun. It is from Allah, we are from Allah, we go back to Allah. Oh Allah, replace this loss with something better from yourself. And Allah will answer you. So, and that's what our Sheikh said the other time that the first thing you need to do is to keep Allah's remembrance. When you are in, uh, 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 facing any challenge, bring Allah to mind. Do some bigger. The second thing we need to do is to remember that patience is the most important thing there. We have been told, we need to try. And Allah wants to test our patience. So are you going to lose the patience? Once the Prophet وسلم, was passing by a woman, the woman just lost uh, a, a child or something. And the woman was wailing. She was weeping and crying and beating herself up. And the Prophet وسلم, said, Sobu, be patient with Allah. And she shouted back at the Prophet, What sort of patience is that? And the Prophet moved away. And after a while, he said, That is from Sudulla. He said, Is that from Sudulla? Oh, okay, I'll be patient now. And she went to do the Rasul, and that was then, and she said, You are very good to be patient. I'll be patient now. And the Prophet said, The first patient is the patient. Is the patient. When something happens to you, that moment is required you to be patient. And that's the first thing you must do. Don't do this. So anytime you are facing any challenge, remember the first thing is don't lose it. Then remember Allah has given you the strength. You see, this subject is so important. Trial, affliction, that so many people have lost faith, have lost their faith just because they can't handle it. How many times have you had, particularly loads of Jews who survived the Holocaust? How many times have you heard them saying that that Holocaust underlines the fact that there is no God? If there is God, what would he do? What would he allow what happened? What the Nazis did? What would he allow that to ever happen? To any human being, how much more is choosing from? Why would God allow that? And even recently, a big question, I believe it was last year, so the big question they do on Sunday, a man was born and he said, I don't believe in God. He said, I have never, I've always been sick throughout my life. Every time from childhood, I've been sick. He said, and I never asked God for anything. There was a time when I was going into surgery and I asked God, let this surgery be successful, let me be healed from all of this. I prayed and I cried. He said, do you know what? God let me down. That day I knew there was no God listening. Allah Akbar. Is that the mindset of a Muslim? Consider everything we have been told today. It doesn't matter what test you face in life. That's what Brian here just explained to us. You are like this in front of Allah. It doesn't matter. If you are patient, if you bear it, if you have faith, Allah is prepared something for you. What is that? Al Jannat al Firadaus. Let's talk about Al Jannat al Firadaus. No, no, let's talk about Al Jannat. Not even Firadaus. There was a man, the Professor Sam said, this man had the smallest part of paradise. They just put this man, and all he owed in paradise is a portion where he's going to stand. That's all he holds in paradise. And they asked this man, and he said, what I have is better than the whole of the earth. Even if I was given the whole of the earth seven times over, that means you live like the queen, like the king of Saudi Arabia, like the queen of this country, like the richest man in the world, you have everything in this world seven times over. You're still not as good as having a faith 
in paradise. And if you are patient, that's the kind of thing you get before Allah. The, um, the Prophet Sallam told us, he said, somebody who had been suffering throughout his life in this world, he suffered every day of his life. On the day of judgment, he is dipped into paradise for a moment, and he's taken out of paradise and he said, look at you. Look how wonderful you look. You used to suffer throughout your stay on earth. This one will protest. He said, no, I have never experienced suffering in my life. A moment in paradise, you forget about your challenges. You forget about the afflictions. You forget about the trials. And they said, somebody who enjoyed himself in this world, he fulfilled all his desires. He never suffered anything in this world. On the day of judgment, the Professor Sam said, you will be dipped into our fire. And you will be brought out and they will say, look at you, how miserable you look today. And you used to enjoy on that. He will protest. He said, me?